Hi everyone, it's uh, Paul back in the workshop. Um, I was working on something yesterday and um, the need for uh, to drill something uh, sort of came and I suddenly thought, um, although the guys have uh, said it's okay for me to use this uh, drill press, what I don't have is the vice. So uh, the purpose of this video is to um, sort of pose the question to you guys and uh, see whether you can come up with any suggestions on um, on what will be uh, uh, useful. So just to give you some info on the uh, the drill, um, it's uh, it's a three phase, uh, um, it's got a three phase motor. We've got a gear range between um, t uh, 390 and uh, 2050. So it's quite a reasonable uh, range um, we look down we can, it does you can pop the uh, chuck out it looks like it's a morse taper too which is pretty good because that matches um, the uh, morse taper too is all on the myford as well so um, and then we obviously got the vertical travel up and down so uh, yeah so the question really is around the uh, the the a suitable vice so if I measure the uh, the table the table is about 12 inches so that's about 300 mil um, she what I did what I have just noticed is underneath here if you can see you can actually I don't think that's cracked um, you can unclip that and lift the uh, the vice off um, sorry, the table off. So maybe it might be possible for me to find a um, a square a square one if that may seems better. You've also got uh, graduations here, so you can tilt the table as well. So that's pretty good. So all in all, I think it's a it's a pretty good um, bit of kit for me to use. Um, so because I don't have a milling machine, um, and it's unlikely that I'll get one. Um, it seemed to me that a uh, the drill press sort of takes on more of an importance uh, than than it does um, if you have a milling machine. So um, the vice, it's uh, what do I get? Do I just get a general vice that uh, you know, just general purpose vice, or do I get a precision um, like a toolmaker's vice? my sort of thought is if you go with a precision you're more likely to be able to do non-precision work on it but not the other way around so um yeah that's really uh really about um about it so yeah the question really is what do you think so i know it's more difficult for you guys who are not in the uk because obviously the um the voices you use are maybe not be available here so any of the uh, UK guys um, maybe if you've got any recommendations that will be gratefully received but the nevertheless the guys um, the guys not in the UK if there there's anything that you really think I ought to consider and also now having seen the sort of setup anything you think would be uh, would be good to do um or, or that i should consider please please comment you know um i'll just turn around and see if there's anything else there doesn't seem to be a depth stop so that might be something uh i'll try and uh make because clearly that will be uh be useful but it's uh yeah it's a fair bit of kit and um as normal has a sawdust issue but you know i can manage that so yeah anyway thank you in advance for your answers and um so you yeah, uh yeah about a 12 inch bed here uh um yeah well you can see i've got six six points where i could attach a voice and uh yeah the question is just a general jobbing voice or a precision one i guess and um sort of sizes really what you would think okay thank you very much bye bye